HCF of 60, 105 and 120. To find the HCF, for that we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is 60, 105, 120. This is your step 1. Next. In this number, last digit 0, so take 5. First number 6. A number close to 6 in 5 table is 5 ones 5. 6 minus 5, 1, 1 carried forward 10. When do we get 10 in 5 table? 5 2 is 10. Now 12 is 2 6 12. 6 is 2 3 6. Now 3 3 is a prime number so 3 1 is 3. Now the other number. Last digit 5 so take 5. First number 1 smaller than 5 so 2 numbers 10. When do we get 10 in 5 table? 5 2 is 10. The other number 5, when do we get 5 in 5 table? 5 1 is 5. Now 21 is 3 7 is 21. 7 is a prime number, so 7 1 7. Now the other number. Last digit 0, so take 5. First number 1 smaller than 5, so 2 numbers 12. A number close to 12 in 5 table is 5 2 is 10. 12 minus 10, 2, 2 carried forward 20. When do we get 20 in 5 table? 5, 4 is 20. Now last digit 4, E1, so take 2. First number 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2, 1 is 2. The other number 4, when do we get 4 in 2 table? 2, 2 is 4. Now 12 is 2, 6, 12. 6 is 2, 3 is 6. Now 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. Therefore, our HCF is HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in <coughs> these three places that is here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places. So now let us find the numbers which should be present here and here and also here. Starting with the number 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. Go to the next place. Do we have 5 here? Yes. So cut 5 right here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need for us to check in the other place. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need for us to check in the other place. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. Go to the next place. Do we have 3 here? Yes. So cut 3 right here. No more numbers have been left out. So our HCF is 5 into 3, 15 is our HCF.